Hello, insiders. Today we're going to update you about the community captions. Uh, as a reminder, community captions are going away. Uh, we've got a lot of feedback and they're clearly a very controversial decision. Uh, but we wanted to at least uh, try to explain the rationale and address some of the feedback that we had um, that led us to this decision. So let's uh, start with some of the feedback that we've heard since we've announced this uh, change. For full context, we have other videos that we've talked about this subject and they'll be linked in the description below. But some of the feedback that we've heard, uh, one of course is do not remove community captions. Uh, the second one is uh, we really want community captions uh, as an option. And three, there were questions about kind of how we came to the conclusion from a data perspective. Of why did we look at this data versus this other data, etc. So on number one, like don't remove captions. So just to clarify a few things. Uh, we are in the business of providing more captions on YouTube. We want to have more and more videos um, that have captions that are accessible to uh, the deaf community. And that's our goal. Uh, so nothing else. We are not interested in less captions. So the things that we're doing to drive more captions uh, are three. One is we want to have an integration into the upload flow. So when creators upload their videos, they will hopefully be very aware that adding captions is a good thing. It gets more audience and is great for more viewers to be able to consume the content. So that's the first thing that we'll be doing. The second thing we've already rolled out or in the process of finalizing rolling it out, but I think it's available to most creators now, is improvements to the creator captioning tool. Um, we will actually make it super easy to create captions because we will seed the editor with the automated captions at the correct timestamps. So it's really easy. I've done it myself uh, on, on the previous Creator Insider video and um, you know I had to change a few words that the automated system got wrong but it's basically you go in there you edit. Um, as you edit the player shows you exactly the right spot so you can hear what you said. It's, it's super easy. So we're hoping that that will be a material change. It will drive a lot more captions. And that's already been uh, rolling out I believe almost complete at this point. And the third thing that we're doing is the new permission that will allow a creator to invite a trusted person to create captions on their videos without access to anything else. So it will be a safe environment for the creator, which will encourage them to um, basically include more people from the community, but in a trusted and controlled way, because at the end of the day, the creator is responsible in their viewers' eyes for what's being said in captions. Hopefully between these three changes that will be coming in the next months, we'll be able to really drive up the number of videos with captions and of course not down and if it turns out that we um, made a mistake with this decision then we will um, look at that decision again and figure out what we can do and in the interim we are funding creators who've used community captions so that they can use a third party platform um, to get community captions. The second point is that we're not removing captions to achieve our goal. It would be kind of silly to remove captions overall if we want to have more captions. So we are not removing captions. There are multiple ways that captions are added to videos on YouTube today. There's automated captions and automated captions will continue in the same way that they are today. We're not um, expecting to have any changes other than improving the system for automated caption. And I should also clarify that we were not looking at automated caption as a solution instead of human captions. We are always looking at it as like a different thing and we were comparing the sources of human captions. There are two types of human captions. One of them is generated from the creator who goes into his or her video and adds captions. Uh, and then the second type of human captions is the community captions. And that's where the community can provide captions for a given video with the whole system to approve it, etc. And we've talked at length in the previous videos about the complexities with that system. But that's the system that we are uh, retiring. Um, so again, the source of captions, that's human captions, from the creator is unchanged and actually improved. We'll talk about that in a moment. The only thing we're changing is the community captions. Uh, other issues that have come up with regards to community caption is the desire to have the community be able to add captions without the creator being involved. And I, I think that that's been underlying a lot of the desire to have community captions. Um, and this is a tricky area, but at the end of the day, where we netted it out on that question, 
Uh, it's important that creators have control of captions because they really are part of the video and the creator's audience will really hold the creator accountable in the event that they have something really bad in the captions. And so uh, the, the idea that um, we can have community contributed captions without the creator's involvement is just something that I don't think we're, we will want to do and I don't think creators will want that to have happen either. So that might be a philosophical difference that we have with some folks in the community um, as well. Uh, there is a question of why now? The, what's not broken doesn't need to be fixed. Um, I think we've explained it in previous videos, but just to touch on it again, uh, we've gone through a very significant um, update to our infrastructure over the last few years that uh, creators have seen, and that's uh, the new studio. Um, it's finished rolling out, so all creators are now using the new studio. There are a few features that are still on the old system, and Community Captions is one of them, and we really have to wrap that up um, shortly and just be done with the old system and uh, retire it. And so this is one of those last uh, features that we were uh, needed to figure out and uh, I'll explain the logic of why we decided uh, not to move it over but that's the why now uh, answering the why now okay so then talking a little bit more about uh, the different types of captions so I think what I'll do is and I've shared this uh, internally with uh, uh, YouTube employees as well um, but I wanted to share it externally so now we're, we're going to look at a chart uh, that shows the number of videos with captions, human captions, by the two types, creator-generated or crowd-generated. And you can see how this, uh, the number of, the, in red you could see the creator, or this one shows creator, the blue shows crowd, and what's pretty stark here is the difference between them. So the number of crowd videos on a given day you can see is basically like a blip at the bottom there. It, it really does not register at all. And the creator counts are tremendous. So just one more uh, data point of why we decided to really double down on the creator generated captions. The next graph shows you uh, how the consumption or watch time is different by the source of the captions. This one does include automated, but again, we made our decision based on the two types of human captions. So you can see that automated um, is a pretty uh, small uh, relative to creator. But again, the, the important thing is the crowd in yellow is very, very small uh, related to creator on a percentage of watch time as well. Those two data points really led us to the conclusion that we should be doubling down on creator captions because that's where uh, the, the captions are being created and consumed by the viewers. Hopefully that explains the logic of kind of the po first point of feedback, which is people really wanted to keep captions and, and felt that there was a negative impact on the deaf community if we didn't have captions or community captions. Of course, we're not retiring captions and we are only retiring community captions because they simply did not generate a lot of captions for our system. So the second point of feedback that I mentioned there was, uh, hey, all that is well and good, but I still wanna have community captions. And so we have uh, um, some thoughts around that. And based on all the feedback that we got, and there was a lot of feedback, uh, we decided to find a third party that um, we've announced already to, that does provide a platform for community captions because it doesn't have to happen on YouTube per se. And so um, we decided to fund uh, creators' access to this system. And there was some feedback about how we, YouTube is going to make money off of this. And it's, it's actually the opposite. We're, we're not going to make any money. We are just uh, spending money to support creators. If you've used community captions recently, um, we will be paying for uh, what we said at the time was six months of th this third party's system. But um, based on the feedback, uh, we have extended it to one year. So um, uh, thank you for all the feedback that six months might not be enough. Now, the reason for the six months or a year is uh, we think that we have a feature that will provide um, a good amount of the value of community captions. Uh, maybe not everything, but certainly we'll get to a lot of the value. And that's what we explained is a new type of permission, meaning that in studio, a creator can invite another person and only give them access to captions. So they won't be able to delete a video or edit a video or see the revenue or see analytics. All they can do is add captions. And so what that allows the creator to do is basically outsource captioning both same language and, and translated captions to other people in the community, uh, but that they trust. And so there is the, that issue of the creator um, can still have control, 
and knows who's responsible for basically what they're saying in other languages or in, or in captions. Um, and so we are hoping to ship that uh, over the next uh, quarters. And so that's one more reason why we extended the third party, uh, our, our payment for the third parties, uh, so that until that's there, um, creators have another option for community captions. So hopefully that explains the second part of feedback, which is like really wanting to have a community caption like uh, functionality. And then uh, the third part, of course, is the, the data, questions about the data. And I've, I've shown the, the graphs. And, um, and the, one of the important points is uh, there was discussion about a low percentage of watch time that has captions. And um, I just wanted to clarify that, again, we didn't look in absolute terms. So the fact that it was, a, I think it was 0.2% of watch time had captions, that was not the data that drove the decision. The data that drove the decision was a comparison of the human caption sources, the community caption and, and creator captions, and, and seeing the, the huge difference between the two. Um, so I wanted to clarify that, that point. Obviously, there's going to be less watch time um, coming from folks in the, in the deaf community than the whole universe of viewers. Uh, so we know that and that wasn't the reason. So the other thing to talk about is I, I've started with saying that we want more captions in the system and so you could ask, uh, well, you're retiring one of the sources, so how is that a good thing? Well, by not spending time on rebuilding the community captions functionality onto the new system, we can have more cycles to do other things. So hopefully that uh, explains our logic at least, and we may, we may still not agree, but uh, hopefully over time we can update the community with how we, we've been doing, uh, how the numbers are looking, and again, if, some, if the numbers are not looking good, then we'll have to make a change. Our goal is to have more captions, not less captions. So thank you, and keep it real.